Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya's Defense Forces, Your Excellency Honorable Rugabe Rashewa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Chair and the Board in the Management of the Kenya Revenue Authority, distinguished taxpayers, and also including my colleagues, Moses Kuria from Ministry of Trade, Industry and Investment, and my colleague, Eliud Awara, ICT. I'm very happy that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all distinguished guests, I'm very happy that I'm here. I took over the, the National Treasury and Economic Planning this morning, Your Excellency, and we discussed We had several things to say and to talk about until we found ourselves running again, it's time to come here. So I have a speech that I'm going to read, which is actually going to reflect mostly the day-to-day, -day, and more importantly, in terms of where we are forecasting to go. We really need the taxpayers themselves, but we also need the market we tax from. So Your Excellency, I wish to express our sincere gratitude from the National Treasury and Economic Planning Docket for accepting, uh, for accepting to preside over this important event in our annual calendar, a day when we recognize and honor distinguished patriotic taxpayers from their various sectors of our economy. Indeed, this day is a culmination of a month-long preparations and activities that give most of the taxpayers a platform to reflect in terms of their tax payments, and also for us to look at the state of health of KRA and taxpayers' relationships. For us, that is very, very important to Your Excellency. And we know that at the backdrop of it, Your Excellency, in the last two years, the world and even our country have faced a very, very difficult time of a slightly over two years. There are unique economic circumstances. There are multiple shocks that have for not only been quite negative, but also persistent. Persistent to the point where they drive, and they drive us out of our priorities. But more importantly, these simultaneous shocks have actually affected the structure of macroeconomic environment, and in fact, distorted the relative price structure and created distortions. We do believe that we we'll ride over these shocks, but more importantly, it is to understand these challenges and how to prioritize the, the remedial measures in terms of how we can get out of them. So the challenges notwithstanding, the country is, still needs to enhance domestic uh, revenue uh, uh, so as to continue providing the, need, the needed services that citizens in this country require. In this regard, we have, we are, we have and we are continuing to initiate a comprehensive a review of the tax policy landscape where we seek to strengthen tax administration through the use of technology and taxpayers engagement. I'm happy about that because for me I do believe that we need to move in the direction where we optimize the tax instruments and also optimize the revenue streams from each tax uh, uh, instrument so that we do not distort not only the market itself but even the pattern of investments in the future. Kenya's theme of leaving no one behind, Your Excellency, uh, projects the importance of shared nationhood and even pulling together as citizenry in determining the country's destiny, including matters of taxation, therefore calling support from all stakeholders. Your Excellency, the domestic revenue mobilization remains the cornerstone for successful implementation of Kenya's development agenda and to further boost performance. We have initiated a number of reforms, including investment in technology geared towards automating tax services, making tax payments more convenient, and thus enhancing Kenya's investments and attractiveness in, in, uh, in, in, in private in investment. For that, I wish to mention that over the last two years, the legal team uh, and the legal and administrative teams have reformed some have taken some measures that are going to expo, expand the tax base and even improve the tax compliance. And this is bearing fruit, and that is why today, when we talk about, when we talk to the taxpayers, we'll be celebrating that the KRIA surpassed the two, the two trillion mark, Kenya shillings two trillion mark. And for me, this is actually very encouraging. 
And as we continue with the reforms, I'm sure things will work out better for us. There are several reforms in the pipeline, but let me, let me um, Your Excellency, promise that we will look into all the revenue streams, all the tax revenue streams, and how we can optimize revenue and even uh, revenue and even optimize how the tax system is corrected so that it does not distort the domestic market and also does not distort the investment climate. So I'm very so in, a, in, a, in, in the past in our pursuit to strengthen and enhance the capacity of KRIA, Your Excellency, we are going to mobilize additional risk revenues that are critical to, to the country's social economic development. And the National Treasury will continue to closely work with, and, uh, with the KRA and other financial support that are required by the authority to safeguard the sustainability of their strategy. As I conclude, I wish to congratulate the taxpayers who are present here and whose day we are celebrating, and they are set to be awarded some prizes because of their steadfastness in supporting the KIA and the, and the government. And we thank them immensely for their partnership to support, uh, uh, without which, uh, for the support they have provided, and without whom Kenya would not have realized the efficient development agenda and maybe even what we are focusing in the future. I would encourage them to keep the pace and press on with the noble mandate, but also to give KRA a response in terms of how best they can organize this tax system. Your Excellency, at this stage, because this is a day for the taxpayers, I wish to conclude my speech and allow me to welcome your deputy, uh, His Excellency Honorable Igadi Gashewa, to make his remarks and therefore, in, and thereafter, invite you to address our distinguished guests. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.